Hi, what's up lovers? Today I'm making a video about narcissists. And again, it's not to talk shit about narcissists because it's a behavior that uh, maybe they can control that they need to work on. But I'm gonna talk to you about seven mind games that narcissists use to manipulate you. And maybe you don't even realize because again, I'm gonna talk about girls, but them bitches be good. They be good, they be hiding shit and they're playing with your mind and then with your feelings and then you feel like you're in love, but yet you're in love with some weirdos. Just so you know. Today, I'm gonna tell you what mind games they're using so you don't fall for them because some of them are really good. And I've been a victim, so let's go. The characteristic of a narcissist. They are self-absorbed. They use their sense of empathy as a weapon. They are very deceitful, so you don't even realize it. And they are very magnetic. The thing is like when you first meet them, they're like eloquent, they're charming, they're like super fun. And um, they just know how to fucking uh, make you come in. Like, how you say it, woo you in or something? Yes, they do that really easily. It's not hard for them. So the first interactions are really nice, really nice. There is no complaint. You're like, you're like, does this person really exist? It's like, they're so good. And you're like, I like them. They make you like them really easily. But then you realize that afterwards, it's not really who they are. They are intelligent and all of that, but it's just like they use it as bait to make you come towards them. And now they can play with you and manipulate you. All right, so here are the seven manipulation tactics that they use. Number one, guilt tripping. That's one of their favorite. So they're gonna make you feel bad if you say no, for like if they need you to do something or a favor or something. They're gonna be like, can you take me somewhere? And you're like, no, I can't, I'm busy that day. They're gonna make you feel like, well, if something happened to me, it's gonna be your fault. So then you're gonna start thinking, uh, yeah, it's true. If something happens to, to them, like it might be bad. So again, they're gonna manipulate you into doing something that you really don't wanna do. So then you feel bad and you just do it for them. So they're winning. Also how you recognize that they're playing that game on you is um, they're gonna remind you all the bad stuff that you've done to them, like forever. You know, like a situation happened in the past and now every time there is something happening, they just throw it at you and uh, then you feel bad again all over when that shit happened long time ago. And then you always try to be better and prove to them that no, that was in the past, now I can do that. But again, it's just manipulation. I had the perfect example. I was talking to this dude and uh, I did some dumb shit, but it wasn't like super, super dumb. Like I went and hang out with another guy, but on like on some friendship and I didn't tell him, but then when I came home, I told him I was hanging out. So yes, it was kind of dumb. I agree. But um, after I told him, this motherfucker would not get over it for like fucking six months. Six months probably, at least once or twice a week, it would be like, oh yeah, go see, go see that dude. Oh yeah, you don't want to hang out, go, you're probably going to go with him. Like all the time it would be something. And I'm like, okay, I don't want to hang out today because I have stuff to do. But he would like put it in my face. Oh, it's because you're going to see somebody else again. You're going to lie again. And I'm like, granted, I was wrong for lying and for going and like, I didn't do anything. We just like hang out. But I was wrong for not telling him what I was going to go do, you know? But he put that shit in my face for six months so eventually i'm like okay i need to prove to him that okay that was a mistake that's not who i am uh it won't happen again so all the time like trying to like make him happy make him feel better do all that shit, and the motherfucker would never be happy that story would always come back and at some point after the six months i was like you know what fuck you you're not happy i've been trying for six months one mistake you cannot get over it like if you cannot get over it which is okay for one mistake that i made six months ago that wasn't even on some cheating or anything but okay maybe that hurt his feelings i did whatever i'm not like saying that what i did was right or didn't hurt his feelings but fucking six months if in six months you cannot get over some shit you should leave like you shouldn't want to be with me in the like no if you know you're like what she did is a jailbreaker then get the fuck out you know but uh i think that was just like a way to manipulate me and make me feel like i wasn't good when i made one mistake i'm fucking human you know so um, after the six months i left i was like fuck you and then all of a sudden 
I never heard about that story ever again. Never heard about it. Then he was like, no, let's get back together. Let's this, this, this. That's how they do. Once they see that what they were using against you don't work anymore, they let it go because they can't use it. It's not going to work. Number two, the silent treatment. They love doing that shit because they feel like they're God. So since they're God, they can decide when to talk to you and when they, they want, you know, and to make you feel like maybe I'm not worthy of her talking to me. Maybe I need to do this and maybe I really need to think about my action. They're going to make you rethink your whole life because all of a sudden you're not worth talking to and they do that to make you feel like you need them and that you did something wrong and that you need to come and apologize even if they were in the wrong but that you need to come and apologize if you want them to talk to you again and that's really straight up manipulation because also since they shut down and they don't want to talk then they don't give you the opportunity to explain yourself so when you come back it's on some like i'm sorry and that's all they wanted you to do again you know i have an example it was this one guy i was dating and um he would give me the silent treatment for fucking two weeks not saying he was a narcissist but i had some treatments that were like yo two weeks in a house where you don't talk to me i was like mm. at some point i don't think it worked on me i don't think like the manipulation worked because i just wasn't talking until he would come and talk because apparently you don't want to talk so i'm not gonna try you know but yeah, but people who would give you the silent treatment, like be careful, they might be narcissists. Number three, which is I think one of the biggest thing that narcissists use is gaslighting. So that's a method of manipulation that's gonna make you question your own reality. So for example, you lock the door of the house. Maybe you guys live together. You lock the door and um, you guys met up outside. And then when you come back home, the door is unlocked. So she looks at you and she be like, so you don't lock the door when you leave the house? And it, it, you're gonna be like, no, I locked it. And she's like, no, apparently you didn't lock it because it's open right now and I haven't been in the house. So then you're gonna start thinking, yo, did I really lock the door? Like, am I crazy? And then she's gonna hit you with like, you see, that's why you need me. You're so responsible. And then you're just gonna start wondering like, am I going crazy? Like I really locked it. And this whole fucking time, you know what happened? She came to the house earlier than you and unlocked the door, then met you out. And then when you came back to the house, uh, the door is unlocked. Yeah, cause she unlocked it on purpose to make you feel like you're going crazy, that you're irresponsible and that you need her. I know those, that sounds some, like some psycho shit, right? But people do that all the time. People do stuff to make you feel like you're not in your right mind. You're like, am I going crazy? Do I need to go see a doctor? Like maybe she's right, maybe I need that. Women would make you feel like that just so you're like, okay, yes, it is my fault. It's my fault, I'm sorry, baby. And it won't happen again. And all that shit, all this shit is manipulation because you know damn right you fucking lock the door. I mean, the door thing is obviously an example. Like they go crazier with like, other stuff like maybe you saw her with a dude and she's gonna tell you you're crazy i was in the house that wasn't me la 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 that's gaslighting too because you're like yo you're feeling crazy because you think she's cheating but she's gonna convince you that she wasn't cheating that it wasn't her you were probably asleep it was in a dark alley whatever bullshit she's gonna find but she's gonna use that to act like it wasn't her and that you're crazy you're insecure you're everything and that's crazy and to me that that's like one of the worst because when people start like playing with your mind and make you feel like you're crazy you know the world is already crazy we might already feel crazy but then a bitch comes around to make you think that you're really crazy when we know them where you're not you know and i'm like those type of people are the worst type of people to me i'm sorry i said i wasn't gonna talk shit about narcissists but that shit is crazy how are you gonna meet me and i'm like in my right mind and yet you're gonna make me feel like i'm crazy for thinking thing when you're actually doing those things that i'm thinking guys stay away from this type of woman it's it's so toxic it's not worth it i know she has a banging body and maybe she fucks you good but what's better your mind or fucking i i, I don't know maybe for some of you the the fucking is more worth it number four projection so they will use it to unload their negative uh whatever they have whatever mind or whatever they're just gonna talk crazy to you pretty much thinking as you being their punching bag 
they had a bad day or something happened and all of a sudden everything is your fault it's you you did that you did that and you're like i wasn't even there but everything is your fault well this happened because this morning you pissed me off and then when i got in the car you know everything is your fucking fault they're gonna make you believe that you are the problem when they know them well they are the problem they're probably gonna call your name they're gonna scold you it's just it's just toxic like please recognize when people are doing that when you know you guys you know when you didn't do shit and you know when you did <laughs> so if you know you didn't do shit just stand on your ground and be like no bitch i didn't do nothing all that shit is you talking and then i had this dude he used to call me a liar a jezebel like i was doing all type of dumb shit what i wasn't doing anything and then all along this motherfucker was cheating he had a whole baby mom that i didn't even know about that he was with the whole time i was like these dudes are good like i could see him whenever i wanted to go to his house everything but then the whole time he was with his baby mom i don't fucking know but i'm telling you stay away from these bitches number five thing ignorance this shit i cannot stand you know people pretty much do dumb shit and when you call them out on it oh i didn't know oh so and so told me to do that so that's why i did it they always have a fucking excuse so they either play it dumb or act like it's not their fault or even being dumb is not their fault because they, they i don't know so it's not my fault no ignorance is your fault you need to <laughs> stay informed and act accordingly they're just gonna act like they didn't know any better or it was just like not what they meant that's i did it but i didn't think it would uh, had this impact on you motherfucker you went and cheated and want to tell me that i didn't know it would hurt your feelings because we never talked about how cheating would hurt your feelings <laughs> really we need to have a conversation about cheating okay but that's how they're gonna play it and then you're gonna be like well that's true it's true we never talked about it are you for real <laughs> i need a disclaimer motherfucker you're not allowed to cheat so yes yeah, so at the end of the day they're gonna make you reconsider and think about oh maybe they're right and then you're gonna forgive them because oh she's a good person but um she just didn't know oh, okay number six they would throw a tantrum like first of all how old are you for you to be yelling and doing all that dumb shit but why they're doing that is because they see that what they're trying to do trying to manipulate you is not working so they're just gonna have a fit like a fucking kid to get to what they want so they might call your name get upset try to fight you yell they're gonna try everything so that at the end of the day you're gonna give in and they're gonna get what they want these people cannot be reasoned with until they win until they get what they want i had a dude that kept on yelling he kept on yelling so i was like all right i'm done talking then it's like ah oh, so you don't care and then he would be like and then when i would yell too he'd be like why are you yelling so you you cannot you cannot win these people are a little crazy i'm telling you being a narcissist is not um i mean it might be moderate because you know people are into themselves people want to get what they want you know shit like that but some people are on another level that you should stay away from them number seven playing the fucking victim they are masters at playing the victim so pretty much uh they're just gonna try to exploit you they're gonna come to you and be like oh my god the whole world is against me everybody always hates on me i don't know what i do i'm such a nice person and this and that and then you're gonna feel bad for them and then you're gonna be like okay i'm gonna help you oh they didn't want to do that for you let me do it for you like these motherfuckers can manipulate you so crazy it's i i don't know i encountered a bunch of people like that not even in relationship but the world is just against them uh it's always something happening to them i'm like why it's always something happening to you but never to me not saying i want it to happen to me but it's weird you always have something going on that's bad is life that bad i don't know but these type of people please stay away people who play the victim like we all live in the same fucking world i know i take that back because i know some situations are different some people are not as um I would say blessed or lucky or you know there's there some people are in worse situations than others but like some of my friends were like around were like kind of like same type of people i would say and it's always something wrong going on with them so then you end up just doing shit for them left and right 24 7 and i'm like damn like can you take care of yourself that's a narcissist 
traits i don't i'm not saying my friend was a narcissist if you're watching me and you recognize yourself but um yeah that's a technique of a narcissist to manipulate you and, and that's why when i was saying they they play with your empathy it's like they know you have a good heart and that you're a good person so you know that when you see a friend that's in distress you want to come to the rescue you know when it's a bitch that's in distress you want to come to the rescue and that's how they play you because they know you're a good person they know you have a good heart so they take advantage so just be careful they these people are users as long as they can use you they're going to be around so those were the seven manipulation techniques that narcissists would use so please be aware if you are dating a narcissist and you you, you want to stick around i don't know uh, but be aware that's how they would play you and um yeah and i think i mean i really think nobody should have to deal with that and like especially the the gaslighting one like people playing with your mind the world is already crazy but now i need somebody around me that's gonna make me feel i'm crazier like what the fuck like guys you already know don't play with them fucking bitches like them the crazy one no don't don't go for it my hair is just a hot mess i'm sorry but yeah, so you guys don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you haven't. So you can get a little notification every time I come on because I know I'm fucking annoying. But hopefully you want to keep watching. And um, also, uh, don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Meli Monaco and at Meli Love XO. And uh, I will see you soon. I think uh, tomorrow. Okay. Good night.